Hey everyone, welcome to my day two. Um, so it is morning time-ish. Um, I was going to get up and just do my workout straight away because of yesterday's kind of piddle farting around before I did it, but I have food on my brain because tomorrow is travel day. Matt and I are going to California to meet up with Jasmine and some of our coaching, OperaFit coaching team. And we are going to an event called Unleash the Power Within, which is all about just mastering every level of success in your life, whether it's relationships, spirituality, wealth, finances, career, whatever it is. It's literally everything. And I'm so prepared for it emotionally and mentally and everything else wise, business wise. I've gotten a lot of um, things taken care of before leaving. But what I didn't have taken care of was my food, and that is a number one priority for me. So this morning I've spent um, making a bunch of travel snacks and like snacks that you can piece out into snack bags and stuff to take into um, the conference. So let me show you what I've done so far. So basically um, Matt and I both have the superfoods blends that we drink, but we drink different kinds. So I have um, a vegan chocolate blend, which is cacao based and it tastes like a freaking Wendy's Frosty, and it's amazing. And Matt has a cafe latte flavor, which he is obsessed with. Um, <clears throat> I also am bringing some powdered peanut butter because who doesn't want some powdered peanut butter? Um, I've got some tea packets that will be going in um, my, our breakfast little bags. I have a bunch of oatmeal scooped out and like a serving container. I don't know if you can see that little yellow square. Um, I have like our serving sizes so that we don't go insane with the portion sizes while in there because I am on this program and I don't want to butcher it in the kitchen. Um, I've got some um, no sugar granola. It's just like a very little bit of honey and oats basically and some raisins and I'm going to be putting in some coconut. I'm going to be making my own trail mix. And then I just finished this, which is some like Mexican spice um, roasted chickpeas. I, I don't know if you've ever had roasted chickpeas, but oh my God, they are so good. Um, you have to get them really crispy because otherwise they get kind of like gummy. Um, so I may throw them back in the oven after they've had a chance to cool a little bit. I don't want to burn them. So right now, while they are while they are cooling a little bit before going back in the oven, I am honey roasting some nuts. So here is a mixture of pecans, cashews, and almonds that um, I basically just mixed two tablespoons coconut oil, three tablespoons honey, melted it so that it was like runny, um, and mixed it all together, and then just dumped about three cups worth of nuts in the bowl and stirred it all up so that it was together. And now here it is, I wanted to show you. We're putting it in the oven now. All right, I'm gonna make sure I don't burn myself because this pan was what I just used. Okay, here we go. All right, nuts in the oven, boom. So that is some nuts, lots of protein going on here. Got, a, got the chickpeas, got the Superfoods blend powder, got the nuts roasting, and I'm I'm thinking of doing some um, sunflower seeds. I don't know. I've never roasted my own. I put I usually put them on like salads and stuff, but I know Matt loves chewing on sunflower seeds, so I feel like there's something I could make um, for him to gnaw on. Um, but yeah, and then it's just a matter of cooking away the food that we currently have, and what we have going on in our fridge is a whole lot of like rice and beans and um, random vegetables. So we've got carrots, mushrooms, asparagus, celery, red pepper, and spinach. So I'm thinking of doing some sort of like, mm, some sort of stir fry. I feel like that's my go-to for <laughs> getting rid of food. Um, I just make like a big veggie stir fry and flavor it with something delicious and then uh, throw it on a bed of rice or some beans or whatever um, and take care of that. So that's the update. I am food focused right now and then I will show you later when I do my workout. All right, talk to y'all later. You guys, look what time it is. Ugh. I promise I'm gonna go work out right now. I don't know what my deal is with like not wanting to work out in the mornings, but I guess five is my time. So I am drinking some beet sugar based um, 
pre-workout energizer, which if you are looking for a good pre-workout, this is insanely good. It's delicious and it gets you really focused and really ready for a workout. Um, and let me show you my haul of all my stuff that I prepped earlier. So I told you about my orgasmic honey roasted nuts. They are all done. And here are my Mexican spicy chickpeas. I've got some sunflower seeds I'm gonna toast a little later, our oatmeal, powdered peanut butter, sparsed out, um, Superfoods blends. Uh, I made some kettle corn with a little bit of, you know, salt and some little seasonings. Here I made some homemade um, trail mix and put it in this bag uh, since it had a had a thingy on it, a Ziploc. And then I made some apple chips, which basically is super easy. You just slice it into um, really apple, a bunch of apples into really thin slices. Pop them in the oven for like two hours on really low heat. Put some cinnamon on it, and our, my house smells amazing. I got some teas laid out, and then finally I got dinner ready, which look at that. I am super proud of it. Like I'm literally eating the colors of the rainbow, and we've got potatoes all cut up, everything's ready to go. I've got the pan oiled and everything. So I have dinner ready to throw in the pan as soon as Matt is on his way home, and I even washed all the dishes. I am feeling good about life because I got a lot of work done today. I got my food all prepped for tomorrow for a travel day and for some of the conference. And dinner's ready and I cleared out the fridge and cleaned up the apartment. And now I'm gonna go do my workout. So I will close out as soon as I finish that. I'll see you soon.